Hey, what's up, everybody? So, coming to you today with the uh, recap from the Showtime card last weekend. We had three fights on that card. I'm just going to run through them real quick. This one shouldn't take long. Real quick video, just give you kind of my insights on the fights themselves. Um, so, let's start with um, the undercard. You had uh, Rolando Romero took on a replacement opponent, I think Avery Sparrow. He wasn't supposed to be fighting a big name guy anyways. Um, so, uh, you know, he knocked Sparrow down early. Um, oh, the interim lightweight title was on the line. The WBA interim lightweight title was on the line in this one. Uh, Marina, uh, you know, not Marina's. Rolando Marrero, Romero was bouncing back off of a controversial decision win over Jackson Marina's. 12-0, um, 10 knockout. So he was trying to be impressive. And early on, it looked like he was going to be. He knocked, uh, um, what's his name, Sparrow down in the first round. But um, Sparrow just kind of uh, was sticking and moving, but pretty much it was uh, one-sided. Romero was winning, but he wasn't overly dominant. And then uh, Sparrow hurt his uh, ankle or leg or something like that and um, couldn't continue. Uh, I think it was in the fifth or sixth round it happened, and then his corner uh, pretty much stopped the fight in the seventh. So Romero gets a uh, stay busy, seventh round TKO win. No big deal here, so whatever. Um, then the co-feature saw Raiz Salim uh, taking on um, uh, Victor Pasillas, I think his name was, Victor Pasillas. Uh, you know, undefeated fighters right here. Uh, they were fighting for the interim uh, WBA interim championship at 122 pounds. And um, Alim proved that, hey, this guy's, that he has a future. He uh, scored four knockdowns in an action-packed fight, but a fight where he was pretty much controlling the action. He was the better fighter. He outworked um, Pisias and uh, ended up stopping him in the 12th round. Four knockdowns, 12th round stoppage, and he becomes the interim WBA champion now. So congrats on that win. It's not good enough to get to the top 10 yet, but he's on the rise, and he proved that he is a uh, talented fighter on the rise. So um, him becoming an interim champion can lead to bigger fights, hopefully uh, middle, end of the year. But the main event... And we will discuss uh, both these guys, uh, what's next on Sunday. It was Stephen Fulton's 12-round, uh, Stephen Fulton and Andrew Leo. Leo came in the champion, both were undefeated. This was a fight that was supposed to take place back in August. Um, you know, and uh, just days before the fight, Fulton ended up testing positive for Corona. So Leo had to take on replacement opponent, but undefeated prospect Tremaine Williams where he pretty much dominated the action and got a convincing 12-round decision in that one to capture the vacant WBO title. Well, now he was facing off against the undefeated Fulton, who was originally the favorite, and heading into this one, he was a slight favorite. I picked Leo to win, but um, I wasn't going to be surprised if Fulton won, and Fulton just looked good. He looked like he never left. Um, he had been over a year since he had fought, and... Um, his stamina, I thought Leo could take him into the late rounds and really test Fulton's stamina, and he never really was able to. Fulton, um, it was a good action-packed fight through like four rounds, and then um, uh, Leo landed a big right hand that I felt stunned uh, Fulton, but it was right at the end of the fourth round, and it was almost like a light switch went off then. Fulton, who was doing well already, started just, he just took the fight over, and he really kind of outworked Leo and um what but what, did it by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them not backing up and boxing but the one thing he did going toe-to-toe -to -toe, staying in leo's face was he was turning leo he never let leo kind of back him into the ropes and go crazy he kind of was turning him as they were mixing it up face to face so and he was landing good hard shots um leo to his credit i'm surprised he was able to stay on his feet for all 12 rounds also he was in great shape and, um, you know, uh, Fulton took a convincing 12-round decision and is now the WBO champion. So, definitely breaks into the top 10. That was a big win for Fulton right there. Good way to kick off the year for Showtime and the PBC. And, um, yeah, you know, Stephen Fulton, he's a guy to watch. He's, a, he's a, a star on the rise at 122 pounds. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this kid's future holds for him. So, big, big-time win, and he becomes a new champion. So, that's it. That's the... Weekend recap from the uh, Saturday Showtime card. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.